So welcome everyone to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I is our day 14 of the magical, wonderful lockdown Patreon pool party. Uh, for those of you who are just turning, tuning in uh, the last 14-ish days, it's been 14 days but there's been a few days that I've not poured on. But spread, so the 14 days, don't worry. Um, <laughs> My beautiful patrons uh, from Patreon who contribute to me financially on a monthly basis and I have all got together, those of them that could make it live when they could, and um, we have been pouring paint. We've been having chats and conversation and pouring paint. It's been lots and lots of fun. So today I have Judith and Kathy and Doug joining me and they have... I think I had stripped them dry of ideas. I had to get down to, right, are we pouring on canvas or record? Canvas, okay. Big one. Or little. It was either or choices. Their, their brains have just been sucked dry because I've had them choose what we're doing every time. Anyway, what we came up with was this funky little creation, which is... um. Some push pins blue tacked into the inside of a uh, what are those things called? Bottle cap. Yeah, a, 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 a paint tube cap, um, which is then sitting inside the underside of a bottle bottom. <laughs> um, just so that it just keeps the bottle bottom just off the ground. And the paint can run down and then run underneath. And we've got we've only got four little push pins that are just sitting on the canvas. So the target now is to take our paint. So we've got violet, turquoise, silver, cerulean blue, and this is a purple that I've mixed up of the violet and cerulean blue to put together. Uh, if you want to know how I mix my paints, there's a link in the description to a video that tells you all about it. It's basically flow troll and water. And they've decided we're putting silicon in to just the light purple mix. So I'm just going to put a single, if I can get a single drop of lube in there. Nope, two drops. We obviously need greasing up a bit more than I thought. Um and give that a bit of a stir and then what we're going to do I'm going to move this out of the way is we are going to pour our colors two at a time down the sides and layer them up and then I'm going to spiral pour that onto our bottle bottom and see what magic comes out <laughs> So let me just zoom you guys in so you can see me pouring. Somebody remind me to zoom them back out again, please. So what I was thinking we might do. Colours, combinations, which way round? Hmm, that's interesting. So I'm going to go purple and silver first. Just pouring them in the bottom trying to keep them even amounts then i'm going to do a layer of the purple with this well not a layer but you know some paint with the silicon in it and then i'm going to pour the turquoise which is looking quite thick and the cerulean blue And repeat. And then I'm going to pour from up high the rest of the purple that's got the silicon in it. And that'll push down in amongst all of it and just see what gets created. 
So we've got an 8 by 10 inch canvas, which is 80 square inches, plus some on the sides. So we need at least 100 mils, which we have. Do we need any more? What do you guys know? Do we need more paint? I don't know. I never figure it out. I always have too much or too little. <laughs> don't we all? All right. All right. Well, I reckon we should be all right. Let's see. Let's zoom you guys back out again. And I wish I could zoom you guys in. Oh, that's not going to work because of the angle. How's that? A bit better? I think so. All right. It's tilted over. No. You're all supposed to stand up like good soldiers. Come on. My blue tack's giving way. What's right about that I'm not getting? There we go. I just wanted more blue tack. I'm hoping that's pretty central. Looks pretty good from up there. Looks pretty good, Jay. Awesome. So let's pour. And the cool thing about doing a bottle bottom pour is you get there's however many holes there are on the bottom. And I'm not doing it slowly and boring. I'm just pouring it out. And the paint is flowing underneath and it's flowing on top. And it's not very even in the quantities down each side. And I'm not worrying about that because you really don't have a lot of control in these things anyway. <laughs> How's that? Pretty funky. You almost end up with um, like a spiral pour out of each side. So it's fun. I like them. I'm gonna just hurry this paint up down the down the sides a bit. And then lift this off. There we go. Hmm. That's definitely different. We do have a little line around here where the bottle bottom wasn't quite high enough off and the paint sort of got a bit... It is interesting because the stuff that flowed underneath was before the silver came out and before the darker colours necessarily came out and it's just, oh well we're high enough now, we'll just go outwards. I'm not really liking this patch here. I was kind of hoping that the little spirals would have gone that way as well, but they didn't. I'm liking what's happening in here. Mm, not so fond of over here. So. Torch it. Torch it, he says. Torch it. 
set flames to it. So the silicon is in the light purple. Which maybe I should have put the light purple down first. Like poured it out first. I should have put a layer of that. Per Instead of pouring it from up high, I should have layered it on the top. And then that would have come out first. And it would have been underneath. And then it would have pushed its way up. Oh, well, we learn as we play, right? Right. That's what preschool's all about. You learn as you play. Someone out there just said, Oh, I thought you it was to get the kids out of your hair for some of the day. <laughs> So I'm just going to pull it down to these sides first. Really loving these cells through here. Really like this bit, can you tell? <laughs> so I'm going to pull it down like that. And then I'm going to grab the stuff that's come off and fill up up here so that this stuff has something to roll over top of. So, oops, I'm probably out of the shot. Okay, let's pull that that way, and as you can see these, instead of rolling over themselves, they're rolling over that extra paint. There we go. And then we're going to do the same on the other corner. Look at these beautiful cells. Can you guys see that? I love technology. This morning I got to have, be at a birthday party in Texas today. How does it get any better than that? Michelle, That's you're cool. dripping paint off and you're going over the top of your other containers of paint. Oh, look. So am I. My beautiful friend, Carrie Brussel, was having her birthday party today and because she couldn't have a party party she had a party on zoom which meant i got to go too i have to do my daughter's baby shower that way baby shower that way hmm that makes um some of the baby shower games a little bit different doesn't it yes it does <laughs> the virtual shower don't tell teenagers about virtual showers. Goodness me, it's hard enough to get them to have a shower now. I'll just have a virtual one, <laughs> Mum. Oh, I'm loving it. I am so loving that. I think I'm going to go a little bit further. Over that corner there. There we go. And then bring it back. Oh, I like that. 
I like it a lot. So you've got to remember these, what looks like white is actually silver. So that's going to dry to very different. We've got some cracking going on in here though. I'm not sure what's creating, creating the crazy cracking. All right. Let me get you down and show you. See what I mean by crazy cracking? Can you guys see that too? That looks like a face there. But it's like the purple has cracked. It's been ripped apart. There's some more over here too. Look at that. It looks like a zebra. Or a tiger fish or something. But I'm loving all these spirals and all these bits and yummy, yummy cells. And there's some more of that cracking around some of this too. It's going to create an interesting texture when it's dry. I'm quite excited about that. Intrigued to know what's caused it. But, um... Hmm... Interesting. It's pretty. It's super pretty. All right. Well, I think I'm just going to let that dry. Oh, I gotta put this. I'm kind of, you know that um famous painting of um, was it the Sistine Chapel or somewhere, where there's a guy lying on a cloud reaching down to somebody else. Do you know that famous painting? Like the two hands are coming, are joining, sort of just touching. This bit through here reminds me of that for some unknown reason. Anyway, I love this piece. That piece is so pretty. Maybe it's because it's got blue in it. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how these colors dry. I'm pretty sure it's going to be quite dark, but it's going to have some very glittery bits. So I'm excited to see what it's going to be like. And you get to see it dry in three, two, one I think I'm in love there is just something about this piece that just oh, yum yum it's just soothing and joyful and oh I love it I love it I love it I just love the rings these just, does it look like um like dairy whip or something all piled up there I'm glad it's not in brown anyway um <laughs> I love these cells look at them they're just so cute and the colors they're just so me oh love it love it love it love it love it oh and then we head over here we get to see even more pretty stuff let's see if I can capture this one this bit here doesn't want to be captured, but it's super cute. Let's see, do I put it in shadow? Just really subtle. And then we go to the big, bold, bright <laughs> rings again. Just look at it, it's just so pretty. <laughs> so I hope you have fun with us. Oh, here's the bits of paint that were left over that I scooped onto a cardboard. I'll make a 
greeting card out of that check the link in the description for how I do that but um, yeah oh my goodness I had so much fun this is so pretty I do like it and um, I'm very grateful for you all watching and, and, and enjoying these those that make comments and click the like button and you know those that are willing to watch 30 seconds of the ad beforehand so I even get paid just so grateful so so grateful if you'd like to come play with us um, on the live stream and actually talk to me like the patrons do head on over to patreon.com forward slash mickey art um, it's only ten dollars a month you can come play with us and um, so the other thing is you know jump onto acrylic pouring for fun facebook group share what you're creating check out what other people are creating i'm just so grateful for everybody in that group we do try and keep it as joyful as possible and uh, if something's not joyful please don't get your back up and start snarking at them just report it to us as the moderators and we'll sort it out so guys um i adore you i adore you all so grateful if you haven't subscribed yet uh, and you'd like some more content like this please 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 hit that subscribe button and make sure you've got the notifications on and if you want to come live but don't want to be a patron um, and want to know when I'm going live I do have the Mickey Art sign up email list which goes out 24 hours before the thing gives you a bit of a heads up so uh, head on over to my website mickeyart.co.nz forward slash sign up and register for those emails. I adore you. I hope you're all choosing to have fun and ease and joy and glory in your lives um, and staying well. Have fun and I will see you. I think the next video, yeah, the next video is actually going to be a live stream. So come join me. Come play. Jump on in. I adore you. Have fun. Bye-bye.